Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is the senior senator from Massachusetts and a Democratic candidate for president of the United States. Please welcome Senator Elizabeth Warren. Nice to see you again. It's good to see you. It again. is your fifth time. Is I that think. right? Fifth time. Those are some John Oliver numbers you're putting hey. on the board right there. You know? Nice to see you again. It's good to be here. Now I want to read the tea leaves here of your appearance. I'm so happy to have you here. Always fun to talk to, and also on a night like this, yes. after what we learned this weekend. Um, first, I want to read the tea leaves of your outfit. Is purple a message of unity for America? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not red, red and blue coming together. You no. Know, look. I think that this is a moment where we got to acknowledge what's happened with the Mueller report. That we got to take that next step and say, make the Mueller report public. We're big. We can all read it. Okay. Now, as somebody, as, you know, somebody in the Senate who knows how Washington works or has a better idea than I do, do you? What do you think the odds are that we're going to get to see it? You know, I don't know. But if we don't see it. Then millions of people around this country are going to keep asking what's in it that nobody wants us to see. Right. Right, so because if it is complete and total exoneration, then give us then all everybody, the words. Everybody, we should all see it, That's so we exactly can just see right. how totally exonerated. That's right. He is. Every <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Everybody can read. Well. <laughs> <laughs> We'll do it in pic pictures. We'll do some of it in pictures. Now, here's the thing: were you were you surprised at the results? Because there was so much, as I said, smoke monster. There was so much smoke. There were so many instances publicly that we saw obstruction. It just happened to be in public. We saw so many connections, so much lying about connections to the Russians. Were you surprised? Did you think you were going to run against someone who was indicted? So, you know, for me, it was never about running against somebody who was indicted. It's really about running against somebody who is making the government work better and better and better for a thinner and thinner and thinner slice at the top and leaving everybody else behind. Yeah. That's... What, I, what, what, what are the, you know, what are the things that he has done that you find most egregious in that, in, in that way? What do you think he's doing to help the 1% or the one-tenth of 1% at the expense of, of the rest of America? Well, so look at this fundamental question about how America works. When uh, Donald Trump and the Republican Congress wanted to give away a trillion-plus dollars to millionaires, billionaires, and giant corporations, they got their act together in just a few weeks and managed to pass a bunch of tax breaks for them. But when it comes to questions about how we make this country work for everyone else, things that matter to all of us, like right now, this government works great for giant drug companies, just not for people who are trying to get a prescription filled. They can't seem to manage to do anything to lower the cost of prescription drugs. Um, I, I have read that you, you have more policy proposals uh, out already than any of your other um, challengers for the Democratic nomination. Um, you're sort of setting the agenda in many ways for what the proposals will be. And that the, you know, 538 had a headline that said, Elizabeth Warren's ideas could win the Democratic primary even if she doesn't. Okay, so would that be good enough for you? <laughs> You know, it, I love these ideas, and let me tell you why, why they are so important. It's about how it is we can make real change. So think of it this way. I put a proposal out for a wealth tax. That would produce, yeah, on the richest 75,000 families in this country, 2%. We could take that money and provide universal child care for every one of our children, universal pre-K. Uh, cut the student loan debt burden. <laughs> Build millions of new housing units across this country and bring down rents and attack racial redlining. We could start on a Green New Deal. We could use the money to do the things that help us build a future. And the money would come from a tax on the super wealthy. Yeah. Okay. What, what number? Yeah. 
I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Good. I'm just curious what number super wealthy starts at. Would you please write on this piece of paper yes. what number <laughs> that starts out? And I'll let you know it's how much I support five, your. One, two, three. Uh, 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 one, two, that's three. how. That's the. That's personal wealth. That's or right. that, Plus one. Is that? Is that okay? That's is that, wealth. Is that? Is that? Is that, we, uh, it's, is that that's, it's that's, fifty million dollars. Okay, it's I'm on board. Tax. I'm on board then. <laughs> I'm on board. It's, Yeah, get those guys. Yeah, we gotta get these bastards right now, Elizabeth. You and me back to back after these for you know until for a few years. For a few years, yeah. But but that's the whole point is that we can make government work for us. But right now, what we got to do is we got to put the ideas out there about how to do that. How liberal are you? I. I believe in an America that doesn't just work for those at the top. I believe in an America that works for everyone. So you're a communist. That's what, <laughs> look, what do you what do you make what do you make of uh, of the 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 the, the right is throwing out this idea that, oh, the Democrats are gonna turn us all into socialists. We're all gonna be Venezuela if we have a social safety net. Look, I believe in markets. <laughs> there's one, there's one Venezuelan out there tonight. I, I believe in markets, but markets need rules, and they need a cop on the beat to enforce those rules. Markets without rules are theft, and we can't have that. That's not how we're going to build an economy going forward. Uh, we have to take a little bit of a break, but we'll be right back with more Senator Elizabeth Warren. Stick around.